Richard here really quick and we're gonna cook. Now, enough of my face, how about some food? Okay, the air fryer has just finished preheating. That's the hot plate where I'm gonna do brown butter. This is gonna be roasted potatoes. And this is the ribeye steak, and I'll explain the details, but let me get the potatoes in the air fryer. Potatoes are gonna go 20 minutes at 200 C, which is about 400 F, 392 to be a bit exact. Um, and the ribeye steak is 375 grams. It's a smidgen over 13 ounces. And I got it at the store today. It's Australian import here in Thailand. And the it works out to just, it works out to exactly $8.82 a pound, which is a really good price for uh, imported Australian beef. And I have my... I have uh, 500 grams of butter there, which is about a pound of butter, roughly a pound of butter. And I'm going to do browned butter in that. The potatoes are just uh, these kind of gold potatoes, Thai potatoes. And uh, just salt, pepper, olive oil, a little dusting of chili powder, parsley, and some MSG, actually. All right, let's get everything in the oven. Okay, the potatoes are in. So... It's going to be 10 minutes for the roast potatoes initially. Right now I've got the uh, butter on low. Just do it on low to melt it, get a little of the water out, kind of finish it at the end. I'm making browned butter. And when the beef, uh, when the ribeye is done and the fat has rendered, which is nice, it's more like beef oil. It's not tallow because it has no moisture. It's just like... Uh, bacon drippings aren't lard because they don't have the moisture in it anymore. And also because it's using hot air, there's probably no oxidation that you would get from a super hot cooking service, right? So that will, that fat, beef fat will be added into the butter and drizzled over the steak and the potatoes. So this will go for eight more minutes. And as the steak sits there, then I will put the steak in and uh, turn the potatoes and put the steak in and go for five minutes with the steak, uh, another five minutes, 10 minutes total on the steak, and then it'll come out and it will be seared in the browned butter along with the beef fat and then we eat. That's it. Okay, this is my, this is my ridiculously small kitchen. You can see it's open to the outside with a curtain that sometimes works to keep the rain out. But it's kind of cool. You, you're kind of forced to keep it uh, clean, fairly. <laughs> okay. Okay, therefore I just turned off. 10 minutes for the potatoes. So halfway there, it looks good. Okay, let me work quick here. I'm gonna stir them up a bit. I'm just gonna kick them over like that. If I didn't set up a tripod at this time, so probably don't really need to do much the potatoes. So I want to just make room for the steak in the center. Sorry, to, oop, I have to do it like this. That's a honker. <laughs> 13.2 ounces. I took us exactly 750 grams of ribeye and had them slice it in half. So that renders 375 grams each steak. So I have another steak. And um, so that's how it goes in. We're going to do sorry I'm fit bad at uh, so it's temperature stays there so we do the timer down to five minutes because we're going to flip the steak at five minutes we're looking for medium air on okay 
And I'll just do a quick few seconds to show you what it looks like when, when we flip it. We're going for five minutes. Then we're going to sear it in the butter that will be browned by that time. Take it real gentle with the round butter. Heat it and then turn it off. Heat it and then turn it off. You want to get the moisture out. And the protein solids in the butter will brown, toast slightly. You don't want to burn it. Okay, you'll know it'll start to smell nutty and caramely. Okay, this is the five minute point. Could probably even take the potatoes out. They look pretty good. So now we flip the steak. Very raw, very rare at this point. So those who want a very rare steak, it's probably good for, for some people. I like ribeyes, uh, medium rare to even medium because I love, I, they're fattier. I like the fat melted. Okay, now in for another five minutes. You've already seen how to set up the air fryer. So then we'll finish it off on the pan. Okay, it is done. I've just set the hot plate to the fry function, 240 C. And take the steak out. Let's do testing. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Okay, we're going to take the potatoes out and plate them. Plated the roasted potatoes. We have the steak. Now we are going to put the steak into the pan. Toss it around here. About 30 seconds to a minute per side. But now here's the second step, and that is to take the beef fat drippings. If there's any, oh, there's not much. Just a little bit. Okay. Nice thing about air fryers, you can store the bin right back in there. Okay. Almost. Okay, let's flip the thing. Yeah, see? That's what you want. Right there. And you see the butter is getting nice and brown and losing its moisture. So I don't brown it all the way because this last step kind of finishes it off. You don't have to baste, meaning put, pour the butter on the steak, because you're going to pour all this butter over the thing anyway. Yeah. So that's softer because it's fattier, and that's a little harder, so that's more of a medium. Okay. I'm going to kill the hot plate. And... Tell you what, I'm just gonna plate it and I'll back with some photos. And there it is. 20 minutes roughly cooking time. Alright, time to go eat.